When it comes to moving with fluidity and grace and in an unrestricted manner, there's nothing that will impact your ability to move more than your eyes and your visual system. And even more so specifically is when it comes to your, your acuity, how clearly you're seeing in the distance. So the video you're gonna see right here is gonna show my ability to squat or inability to squat, depending on what I have over my eyes. So here's the first squat attempt. Pretty good. I can pick up my head in that squat. Now I'm gonna increase the power just by 0.25 in each eye. And that's my best squat. I can pick up my head, I can stay there and breathe. And then I increase power again and my squat can't get all the way down, I fall backwards, and I increase the power one more time, and you're going to see that I can barely squat. Okay, so what's that showing you? As I was increasing my acuity, my ability to mute to move, my acuity in the distance, so my 2020 vision, my ability to move and squat got worse and worse. And why is that? Well, there's a couple reasons, and that's really the, the point of this video. So just for some context here, in March, when I went to my eye exam, I was given a 2.75 in my left eye and a 2.5 in my right eye. And that's plus, that's a, that's a, that's a, I'm, a I'm farsighted. Okay, so I got a plus 2.75 in my left, plus 2.50 in my right. Now I want you to look at this quote from uh, The Extended Mind, The Power of Thinking Outside the Brain by Annie Murphy Paul. When we're engaged in physical activity, our visual sense is sharpened, especially with regard to stimuli appearing in the periphery of our gaze. That's important. This shift, which is also found in non-human animals, makes evolutionary sense. The visual system becomes more sensitive when we are actively exploring our environment. When our bodies are at rest, that is sitting still in a chair, this heightened acuity is dialed down. So what is that saying? This is what I noticed. Every time I got a refraction, inside, in a small room, sitting down, putting me in a forward head posture, which is extension. The moment you bring your head and neck forward, you're going to this extension pattern and your sympathetic nervous system, your fight or flight system is gonna go up automatically just by putting in a, your head in a forward head position. So what do they have me doing? Sitting in a small room, uh, looking f into this little viewfinder, no natural light, in a testing condition, in a seated position, so my brain is not sensing gravity push me into the ground, so I'm not really sensing the ground. It is not surprising to me at this point in time that my eyes were not, as, were, were not seeing that well, so they kept saying, well, you need 2.75, 2.5 to see 2020. And at one point, a year and a half ago, my left eye was up to a 3.25. So what am I wearing right now? I am wearing outside, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Inside, my vision's not as good, so I'm wearing a 1.0 and 1.0 in contacts. That's a huge, huge, huge difference. So what kept happening was they would refract me, they would do the eye test, the vision test, in that small room, and then the moment I went outside, my back would hurt. I was like, this cannot be possible. Like, this cannot be the right prescription. I, would, I couldn't touch my toes, I couldn't squat. I should be able to touch my toes and I should be able to squat. So. With that in mind, with that quote that I just showed, when you're out in the environment, exploring your environment and moving, your vision is better. Your, your vision is more acute, probably because you're being bombarded by sensory input from the auditory system. Your brain is sensing optic flow, which I've talked about, your periphery. And the more sense you have coming at you, the more your, uh, the brain is a serial processor it likes to process sensory input, not one at a time. It likes to be bombarded by sensory input. That's called living in the environment, living in nature. When you're sitting in a room, because there's less uh, stimulation, less, uh, and usually when you're in a, sitting in a room, you're usually staring at something like a TV or a computer, you're losing, you're, you're getting tunnel vision. You're, you're losing the overall big picture because you're concentrating on this small little screen. And as you teach your eyes and your visual system to not look out there anymore, but to operate in a very small area, your visual system starts to get thrown off. And what they were doing, now I know there's, that's just how they do it, and they need a way to, to measure 2020 vision, but there can be a huge difference between outside and moving and sitting in a chair. So outside standing and 
moving rather than sitting stationary in a chair. And so they were testing me in this position that my vision is worse. They kept over prescribing me. I, I was getting too much correction. It didn't make my vision any better. So I bought myself an optometry kit. And that's what you saw when I, when I was squatting, I was just, I had these, um, these, uh, not, uh, these trial lenses and you just put the lenses in and I was just changing it. And I found that I could read an eye chart 2020 outside and standing up quite easily with 1.0 and 1.0, yeah. And so I finally found an optometrist who agreed with me and here we go. So I'm doing a lot better right now. So I've seen this with many people. Uh, someone just came in the other day with, um, he had LASIK surgery and he said, oh, I see really, really clearly better than normal. And he could not pass any of his PRI tests. The only way to pass his PRI test was to put reading glasses over his, his eyes to make his, his focal vision, his distance vision a little bit blurrier and his body relax.